What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. It's an absolute honour to be able to welcome an LOI legend, Conan Byrne, to the show today. Over 400 appearances in the League of Ireland, I believe. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. How are you keeping? Yeah, good. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad. Perfect. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time to uh, speak to us. Um, the, your campaign, hashtag it's good to talk LOI, how did it come about? I think it was the mi middle, third week of October. Um, uh, did it pop into your mind or how, how did it come about? Um, I suppose it came after watching Clare and Live actually. Um, David Brady, the former GAA NAO footballer, he was on talking about what he did in the last lockdown, talking to elderly and isolated uh, people in his home county of Mayo. And he called it Friday night ch chats, I think he called it. And um, every Friday night he'd pick up the phone and contact somebody that was elderly, um, living alone or isolating and um, just have a chat with them. Um, so yeah, it just came from that. Sometimes, sometimes these ideas spring into my mind, and um, we said, "Sure, why not? We, why not the League of Ireland piggyback onto something something similar?" And um, that all it took was like literally David was still on the screen in front of me while I sent out a text message to um, to all the players and coaches and managers and journalists and everybody in my phone. And um, yeah, they all got back pretty much straight away. So it kind of just took off from there, and I put out a tweet then the following day. And, um, yeah, and that went kind of, it snowballed and really just mm -hmm. took off from there, yeah. Amazing. Obviously, like the GAA and the League of Ireland um, in our country are such like important uh, organisations for like uh, young people and older people. Uh, did you expect uh, such a reaction and such a support? Well, um, probably not, no. Um, look, it's, it's a great tool that we, that we have in football that we can reach out to people, especially during these times. And it's very, very difficult for people to, that are suffering and not being able to go to games. Um, so yeah, I, I wasn't expecting the, the, the reaction that I've got, both from the, the players and coaches that were want, wanting to get on board, but also from, from people that were getting in touch with me about wanting to help another person, out, which was lovely as well, seeing some of those interactions saying like it could be a, uh, looking after their father or grandfather or even just a friend that might have been struggling at that time so look at the start i was only i was only thinking of the the older generation but quickly it turned out that a lot of young people wanted to get in touch with with their with with people and um yeah that that it just it just worked really really well so it, it was brilliant perfect i saw you put up one tweet and said uh i'm getting back to as many people as i can to kind of bear with me where you kind of uh uh, snowed under with like loads of texts. I obviously like you'd want it that way to get such support, and um, but it did take a while to get through the DMs. Um, I was lucky um, in the sense that we had a midterm break for school because obviously I'm a teacher. So oh, brilliant. Um, <laughs> that particular weekend it was my first um, weekend where I just could get a lot of stuff done. But yeah, I wasn't expecting the amount of people to get in touch that there was, which was great. Not saying that there, not saying that it wasn't. Um, but I was able to contact people back within 48 hours, which was what I had set out to do initially, but <laughs> I thought I was giving myself enough time and maybe I wasn't, but um, no, it was just great. And I think I got, I, I think I've got back to everybody now at this stage, <laughs> um, but I'm still getting some requests and um, yeah, and players are still wanting to get involved and yeah, it's just been, it's been incredible really. And it's just, as I said, it's there's been some heartwarming stories um and it's great to be able to be uh, to to hear about some of those stories perfect i think you said uh, there was a ho over 190 players and coaches journalists etc involved uh, it was trending on twitter at one stage and the pfa of ireland uh, supported it as well um are you you're still getting a few texts um at the moment are you yeah still getting yeah. a few yeah um the and even from like some of the, the coaches and the managers and the players they're still texting me going, look, I'm still available if you're forgotten. <laughs> whatever. But yeah, look, it has it has slowed down dramatically. Um, every time I put up a thread, it seemed to um, get a lot more traffic to my DMs, um, and which was great, as I said. And um, bec maybe because of the fact that I haven't put a thread up in a while, that it has slowed down. But I'm still getting people um, and um, contacting me. And as I said, not one person has said no like there might have been a, a, a request for one individual player and um, might have been history between those two people or whatever mm -hmm. and um yeah it's just it, it, not one player has said no or, or anything like that it's been truly remarkable 
That's a super reflection on like the League of Ireland, everyone involved and yourself. And I, I can just give you, uh, I, I can't praise you enough. It's it's absolutely uh, amazing. A really nice news story at the moment, much needed, I think. Yeah, it's a fantastic. Even going on your Twitter, it's lovely just to read through the threads and see all the heartwarming stories. It's an absolutely fantastic initiative, which has undoubtedly helped so many people through the tough few weeks or whatever. Um, we'd love to chat to you for hours on end about your LOI career, of course, potentially another time. <laughs> But um, just a quick one maybe for you. Uh, obviously, you were with Shells last season. You know the manager and the players in the dressing room. How good were you to see them going down there a couple of days ago? Yeah, look, it was, it was pretty uh, gut-wrenching watching the game. Um, but a table never lies. You know, um, they weren't good enough. And I suppose that's just the way you have to look at it. You could say that they're only a couple of points off Europe, which is a yeah. funny way of looking at it. But at the end of the day, um, they weren't able to beat, and this is no disrespect to Longford, but they finished fourth in the first division. Um, they got beaten by Athlone a couple of weeks ago as well in the cup. And it was just a, and the fact that there was just no confidence in the players. Um, that was very evident. And um, it was very disappointing to see so many good players have that title of relegation to their names now. And it's... Um, Especially after the work that was put in, I suppose over the last over the last two year, last three years, I suppose by the new owner and bringing in Dave O'Connor as CEO and the amount of work that has gone on behind the scenes. And just, I was at the game against Shamrock Rovers last week at, at Tolka, and I was I remember saying talking about um talking on game on. I think that it was just it I didn't see, I didn't see light at the end of the tunnel for Sherwood and um, against Longford. Now I did I did think that they might have had enough in the tank. But after 10 minutes of the game on Sunday, I, I, I was really worried. Um, sending off, I don't think, made a massive difference. I think actually Shelburne did better with the 10 men than they were with 11. Um, because Longford found it very difficult to break them down. Look, having said that, Longford were all they had three fantastic victories to get to get to the Premier Division in terms of beating uh, UCD in, in their own home patch and then beating Galway then. Um, a really rejuvenated Galway. Um, I thought their shape was absolutely e excellent in the couple of games that I saw them. Um, young A. Dervin and Dean Zamber, a bit of youth and experience in there. They were absolutely terrific. And then Rob Manley, who had, didn't start the season particularly well, uh, finished it like a steam train. And um, ultimately, his goal has put them in the Premier Division. So all credit to Longford. They fully deserved their victory on, on, on the day. And um, yes, yeah, just so disappointing to see uh, to Sheldon, to see Sheldon go back down. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. Um, well, Conan, thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it today. Uh, we will leave links in the descriptions to some great causes such as Alone, Jigsaw and Pieta House. Make sure to follow Conan on Twitter as well, at CBC 7 Big thanks again, Conan. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much, Conan. Thanks.